Good afternoon. The following is a winter weather briefing uh, that was made on around noon on December 3rd. This forecast briefing is for Thursday and Friday of the coming week. Here's the overview for today and tomorrow. Pretty much warm, increasing cloud cover tomorrow, but that's really going to be about it. The big changes occur late Wednesday, early on Thursday, when a cold front is going to start blowing through the area. It will turn the winds more to the north at around 10 to 20 miles per hour, and it's also going to turn things a lot colder. Highs on Thursday should struggle to uh, be in the upper 30s to near 40. Could be some rain showers on Thursday. The precipitation is going to begin as rain, but the freezing rain chance develops on Thursday night after midnight, most likely, and then continues on Friday afternoon. So here's what we know and what we don't know yet for this scenario. First of all, much colder temperatures are on their way, falling temperatures to holding steady on Thursday. Precipitation is likely for much of the area. That's going to be for both Thursday and Friday and uh, possibly into early on Saturday. The forecast right now looks like it's going to be all rain or freezing rain, and there's going to be a very tight gradient of those impacted areas. We're talking about the width of one county, which is about 30 miles or so, and in some 30 mile stretch there's going to be a line of very little impacts with just cold rain to a little bit more in the way of ice, so it's going to be a close call for some areas. What is unknown right now, just how far south is that 28 to 32 degree line going to go, and also what's unknown is the exact temperature profile around 8,000 feet. That is going to say quite a bit about what kind of precipitation we get, whether it be rain, freezing rain, or even some sleet. The other unknown are those precipitation amounts. Here's our best forecast as of Tuesday afternoon. The freezing rain line is pretty much going to be north of a line from around Hamilton, Hillsboro, up around Ennis or so, and then over to Emory. The highest chances are going to be up in the near, near the Red River. Gainesville, Sherman, Denison, Bonham, Paris, Right now, that looks like the main area that we really need to watch. However, there is a possibility that that freezing line is going to go a little bit further to the south. What we're showing you here is a probability of receiving a tenth of an inch of freezing rain, and low probabilities down around Temple or Waco. It's not out of the question. It's just the highest probability is up around 820 or uh, Interstate 20 and up to around Interstate 20 and Interstate 30. So in the blue shading, that's where we really going to see the highest probabilities. The bottom line with all of this is there's going to be a very tight gradient between impacts and no impacts whatsoever. Here's a chart of our confidence and impacts level. Our confidence right now is a little on the low side. It's still 72 hours out at least and we are going to have to figure out exactly where that freezing line is going to set up. So low to moderate to confidence at this point but the impacts could be extremely high because of the potential for some ice. It does look like likely that we're going to see at least some uh, freezing rain or some ice across most of the area by later in the week. So, event is over three days away. Any deviation in the temperature is going to have a big impact, especially that location of the 32 degree line. So check back for daily updates and hopefully confidence is going to increase over the next 48 to 72 hours. And I know what you're thinking. We've heard this before. Well, why is this different from the last time? The low level temperatures are colder. The precipitation type this time around appears to be mostly rain, a little bit of sleet mixed in, but the freezing rain is going to be where the surface temperatures are less than 32 degrees. And since this system is a little colder than the last time, that means more of us will see the potential for ice. And if you remember last time, in most areas, we saw some ice in the trees, a little bit on elevated surfaces, but not on the roads this time around, those colder temperatures could mean some more impacts. And thanks for joining us. If you have any further uh, information, please visit our webpage, weather.gov slash Fort Worth or slash Dallas or Waco or Temple. And if you have any kind of questions or comments about this, please feel free to give us an email at sr-fwd.webmaster at noaa.gov.